welcome back to our channel, The Pasca Pen Hen. Today we're going to be looking at the no dig beds and give you an update of what we're growing down on the land. Who's lying down on what job? What are the peas doing? Lying down on the job, look. Shabby, isn't it? Need a couple of days of uh, nice sunshine without rabbits. Naughty rabbits. Naughty rabbits. Naughty rabbits. And naughty slugs. And slugs. Oh, and for the record, slug traps, cider works just as good as lager. How did we find this out? Two litres of cider, which I poured into pots. It grieved me greatly. What kind of cider? Strong boat. The uh, slugs were on the boat train. <laughs> there we go. And that is Dean's top tip for this week. Okay, so um, I thought I'd do... So this year is a big experimental year. New site, new ground, new bugs that I've never seen before. Bees getting caught in the netting. So this here, which has been ravaged a bit because the weather has been appalling. Um, this is Kia, which is a variety of the mint family. So apparently these can grow up to six feet tall. We've had to this week, we've put some wind netting round because we've been having quite consistently sort of winds 50, 60 miles an hour, which is a bit much. Um, got some gladdies, got some different mints for teas there, um, some sunflowers to go out, some sweet peas. So in here I have a box because they're going to overgrow. This is a box of different types of mints. So we've got spearmint, peppermint and apple mint. Becky's going to stand on the chamomile, got a bit of a chamomile lawn. Save myself there. <laughs> Only tread on the far end, it's fine. So, yes, we have very I don't look happy at all. That didn't work this year. Yeah, it's it's been very cold. Considering it's nearly June, we're not even getting up to 10 degrees most days. The joys of living in the UK. Yeah. So, yeah, I've got some courgettes um, and onions. There's a bit of garlic in here. Garlic. This is really good. This is salad burnet. It actually tastes like cucumber. Um, in here I've got, this is most of where I've got my board beans and some radishes. So I'll be putting the um, summer and winter savoury in here with some onion. Got some peas. These are the early peas that I put out. Um, with some sunflowers down the middles of the rows is um, pollinators companions there so here we've got some more peas um, these are mostly broccoli and some kohlrabi this one is some leeks and onions and some kales. Yeah. So here again, leek and onion. So I'm into planting the leek and onion with the brassicas to try and keep down on pests and things. This is interesting. Oh, it's also going to see. This is garlic kale. Texel greens, which I've never grown before. Got some, whoa, that's wrong. Some lettuces, some chard, a bit of kale starting. This one we have mostly eaten. <laughs> We well, haven't mostly eaten it, the slugs and the weather have mostly eaten it. Um, in here, there, so these poor little stumps, this is soybeans for Adama May. 
but we'll see if they come back. If they don't, they don't. So like I said, it's a learning year this year. So here we've got lots of spinaches and bok choy. Um, so the reason why you've got stuff in little pots, so these pots, bottoms now the reason for that is is we've had something that i've never experienced before we've got club worms which is a caterpillar of uh, a moth and basically they wrap themselves around the bottom stem of everything and chop it off so that's something where we lost a lot of things early on with that um got some stacks of beetroot on the end mile an hour gusts and torrential rain yesterday <laughs> but look at today <laughs> look at today yeah so we've got some more onions in here um another new crop here this is salsify which i've never grown before give it a go wouldn't it this chard um was transplanted from our old allotment which is why it's going to seed it's last year's so I will let it seed so we've got some for next year. This is my lovely parsnip plot. I will have to thin these out, but they're not too bad actually. Um, I'll need to thin some bits and pieces out. The first lot we did, I think were all eaten in the ground by the cutworms. Um, I had the same, so this plot here, this, there was loads of carrots in here. Um, and every time a carrot's come through, it's been eaten. And I think it's the cut worms again, killing it all. So I'm going to have to make raised beds for carrots for next year. Which is fine, it's all part of the learning. So here we've got some runner beans growing. Um, this one, this is stretch there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, let have chewed it off. Slugs have had it. So we'll have sweet corn in here. This is the failed crop. Yeah. For those who don't know what we were on about in the other video. Failed crop. Um more sweet corn in here with some more squash. Which is what we're gonna put back in again. Yeah. Another failed crop bed. Squash are quite resilient generally. Um, I lost loads to a late frost last year and they grew, they were just late. And um, I had uh, the lotty beans in here. Again, the late frost got it all. Got some cosmos about to come out in flower though. Um, this one has got nothing. This one was mostly just bits and pieces that I had left over was put in. Um, so we've been having real problems with getting compost. So this was supposed to be compost and it's actually much better now, but it's been rock hard lumps. So this is like a month's rain. It's actually starting to turn to compost. So this wasn't um, growing very well, but it's getting there now. We paid a lot of money for this and literally we've been sent its builder's rubble sand. So there's a complaint going in about that. So this one is some more cabbages, broccoli, um, some celeriac, and celery, more cabbage and onions. So you notice we eat a lot of cabbage. Uh, some lettuce. Some lettuce again. This one we didn't think of ha it'd have the cut worm issue, um, but it did, which is why I've lost most of this. So a lot of the stuff in the polytunnel now will replace this. 
some more runner beans behind. And then we've got potato parade. But 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 potato. So we heard about different ways of growing potatoes, so we thought we'd try them all. Right. Go big or go home. Then we've got some second early, some are going faster than others. Then these are early May crops. So I've got loads of my favourite in here, which is being purple. Um, for some reason, no idea why, the potatoes this side, all planted at the same time, are growing much faster than potatoes that side. I think they're the same variety. Well, what a drainage! Uh, it could be, but it goes down here. It's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of flat there. If you know, comment below. Yeah, we're open to ideas. So, this was another method of growing. So, this is basically just an earth temp on cardboard with straw on to earth up, and then this one which has freaked me right out because it doesn't seem right. So this is literally cardboard with, um, there is some compost on and then we've got the potatoes and then straw and it's literally planted directly. So there's like, we've got about, I think the depth of the, with the, which the potatoes sat in and then the straw is put on top of the potato give it a good old water and it grows through which is really weird yeah i've got to take this net off now the net was on just to stop it all blowing away that's it so we'll just see how it all goes stay tuned for the update